Okay, so let's do some yoga. Go ahead and sit comfortably, however that looks for you. Um, I'm sitting on a cushion, my legs crossed. You could be having your legs forward, you could do one leg, however you feel com you'll feel comfortable for the next couple of minutes. Sitting comfortably, allow the eyes to close. And become aware of your breath moving in your body. Depending on where you focus, that might be a different sensation or awareness. Maybe you sense the breath moving through the nostrils. Maybe you're sensing the breath expanding in the lungs, causing the chest and belly to expand. Then all that contracting, relaxing as you exhale. The breath can be a great warning sign or barometer measurement tool <laughs> for the state of mind you're in. So when you find yourself anxious, worried, stressed, the breath can get quite shallow. There's not a lot of movement, not a lot of sensation. And so if you notice either now or any other time your breath becoming shallow, I'm just going to invite you to deepen it. So let's do that for a few rounds. Inhale, feel the breath deepen, feel the lungs expand, maybe to the point of capacity. And then allow your exhale to just be a relaxation of that expansion. And inhale again, feel the lungs fill to near capacity. And then exhale, relax the breath. And we'll do this maybe three more times. And if you feel like making that exhale audible by sighing, go ahead and do so. Sighing is a great way to calm the nervous system as well. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> and then just allow your breath to be in its now normal state. And then take a deeper, fuller breath. Bring your palms to your heart. Lower the chin and honor yourself as you are in this moment, this body, breath, energy, and whatever state of mind you find yourself in. There's no wrong way to be right now. And it's from that place within you that we'll practice. So go ahead and rub the palms together, creating heat. And take the heated palms over your eyes. Brushing back over the top of your head and down your neck, bringing yourself back to the space around you. And tonight, we'll start off our practice on our backs. So go ahead and come to lay down. And once you get there, have your feet flat on the floor, heels underneath your knees, and have the feet about hip distance apart. So not close together and not too wide apart. Have your arms relaxing down by your side. And we'll start with some arm movements and we'll add the hips in just a moment. So with your next inhale, go ahead and lift your arms toward the sky, then all the way overhead, knuckles on the floor above you. And then exhale, release your arms back down to your side. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift the arms all the way overhead, reaching through the fingertips. And exhale, releasing the arms back down. Three more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. I'm beginning to warm up the shoulders here, getting you into your body. Exhale, release the arms down. 
With your next inhalation, lift the arms overhead again. This time also scoop the pelvis forward, lift the hips into the air, coming into bridge pose. And then exhale, release the arms and hips at the same time. We'll do that again. Inhale, lift the arms and hips. And exhale, bring it all back down. A few more times, warming up the spine here, still working with the shoulders, creating some space in the front of the body, which is really great to do if you've been sitting a lot. Great elongation in the abdomen, the front of the thighs, the hip joint. Inhale, lifting, exhale, lowering. Let's do two more. And then go ahead and lift the arms all the way overhead, hips toward the sky. Let's just stay and breathe here for a few rounds. And even though we're holding the pose, there's still a strong engagement. So with your inhale, you want to feel your sternum, your breastbone, arcing or bowing towards your chin, deepening the back bend in your upper back. And then with each exhale, reinforce your pelvis toward the ceiling. Inhale, sternum to chin. Exhale, pelvis to sky. Glutes are engaged, feet flat on the floor. Stay for two more breaths. Good, inhale here. And then exhale, carefully release the hips down, arms coming with. And then just feel sensation once you're down on the ground. Good. So go ahead and hug your right knee into your chest and extend your left leg down to the floor. Now activate both legs here, so flex both feet and just feel the gentle stretch in the hip, just hugging this right knee in for now. Good. So I mentioned earlier that the front of the body can get tight. It's good to elongate it once we've been sitting for a while. Another area of the body that gets tight when we sit for a long time are the back of the legs or the hamstrings. So let's do some work to get those uh, lengthened. So go ahead and hold behind your left thigh, your right thigh with both hands. With your inhale, extend the leg toward the ceiling, reaching through the heel, pull the toes back. And then with your exhale, bend the right knee back into your chest. Inhale, extend the leg toward the ceiling, pulling the toes back. And exhale again, knee to chest. Let's do this a few more times, working to feel length in the leg and breathing. Straightening the leg as much as you can, pulling the toes back as much as you can. Let's do a few more of these. Good, take your time getting there. But as you extend the right heel toward the ceiling this time, pull the toes back, let's hold posture and breathe. As your right leg is extended, toes pulling back, check in with your left foot. Make sure it's activated, the foot pointing toward the ceiling, even a slight internal rotation of that foot. And we're breathing. Soften your jaw if you notice any clenching there. Aware of the inhale, aware of the exhale. Good, one more breath. And then exhale, bend the right knee back into your chest and extend the right leg down to the floor. Now having just done the right side, just notice the difference between the two sides of the body. Maybe it feels like there's more circulation in the right leg. Maybe it feels warmer, looser. Probably feels important to do the other side. So when you're ready for that second side, go ahead and hug your left knee into your chest. And activate both legs or both feet, the toes pointing toward the ceiling. 
and we'll stay here for a breath or two. Again, just feeling this gentle stretch in the hip joint. Good, and then we'll do the same exercise we did on the first side. So go ahead and hold behind the right knee, both hands, sorry, left knee, my left and right today, I swear. Hold behind the left leg, inhale, extend the left leg toward the ceiling, reaching through the heel, and exhale, bend the knee back into your chest. Inhale, extend, pulling the toes back towards you, and exhale, the knee to chest. Let's continue. Inhale, extend, exhale, bend. And as you're moving through this exercise, notice if there's any clenching in the face, the jaw, the eye, the forehead, and just soften that effort in. Extending through the heel, bending back in. We'll do two more. Good. Now take your time getting there again. But once you extend the leg this time, the left leg that is, pull the toes back, reach through the heel, and stay. Now check in with this right foot on the ground and make sure the toes are pointing toward the ceiling. Let's breathe. Soften your jaw, soften the face. Staying for two more breaths. Keep reaching through the heel. Good. With your next exhale, go ahead and bend the left knee back into your chest. And extend the leg down to the floor. And take a moment just to feel sensation, especially from the waist down. Good. Go ahead and head and hug both knees into your chest. And having the knees still drawn inward, take your arms out to the side, making a T shape with your body. If there's furniture nearby, you can do goal post arms. Good. And go ahead and flex the feet again. Pull the toes back toward the knees. Take a deep breath in. With your exhale, allow the knees to fall towards your right side. And then inhale, bring the knees back to center. And then exhale, go the other way. Take the knees to the left. And then inhale, back to center. And let's just continue this a little bit longer. Exhaling to a side, going as far as you can without collapsing. Inhale, back to center, and then exhale to the other side. A few more times. Good. Now take your time getting there. But as your knees go to the right this time, go ahead and relax them down. Good. Your right hand can actually uh, rest comfortably on top of the left knee. Not forcing the twist, but just helping to encourage that leg to stay where it's at. And think about grounding your left shoulder back behind you. Maybe even turning the chin to the left. And find your breath as you hold the pose. Good. With your next inhale, carefully unwind to center. And then let's do the other side. Go ahead and take the knees to the left. Allow them to relax down. The left hand can rest on top of the right thigh or knee. And think about grounding your right shoulder this time. Maybe even turning your chin to the right so that's comfortable on your neck. And find your breath in the pose. Aware of the inhale and aware of your exhale.
aware of the inhale, aware of the exhale. Good. Now with your next inhale, carefully come back to center. And hug the knees in. We'll do one or two more exercises here on our back, okay? So holding on to the knees or the shin, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, curl your chin in towards your throat, bring your forehead up toward the knees, shoulders lift. And let's just stay here for about three deep breaths. Feel the core engaged. You can even relax your grip on the knees to make sure that that's happening. So crunch up, not a pull up. Deep breath in. And then without collapsing, release the head and shoulders back down. Good. Now let's do that one more time. Deep breath in, and exhale, chin to throat, forehead lifts toward the knees, shoulders lift as well. And again, feel the core engaged here. You can hold on to the legs, but allow it to be a, a loose grip. Deep breath in, and again, don't collapse. Exhale, carefully release the head and shoulders back down, soften your jaw. Just one more time, because three is psychologically satisfying. That's the only reason why. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. Exhale, chin to throat, forehead lifts. If you want to, this time you can extend your arms forward, palms to face up, and breathe. Staying for the inhale, and exhale, carefully release down, feet to the floor, and just feel sensation for a moment. Mm. Good. Taking your right arm all the way overhead, go ahead and roll to your right side, and then let's come on up to hands and knees, table pose. Feel free to hydrate if you want to as well. And working from home, I find I'm not drinking nearly enough water. So anytime I do it, I try to remember others to remind other people to do it as well. So table pose, hands underneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips or slightly further back. And with your inhale, look forward with your heart, feel the tailbone lift. Exhale, go all the way back to child's pose, seat to the heels, forehead to the floor. Then inhale, float back up to hands and knees. Curl the toes under, lift the hips into the air, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, float back down onto hands and knees. Release the feet. Exhale, child's pose. See to the heels, forehead to the floor. Inhale, float back up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do this movement a few more times and then we'll hold down dog. Inhale, floating down onto hands and knees. Exhale, child's pose. Hands and knees, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Twice more through the flow. Hands and knees. Child's pose. Hands and knees. Downward facing dog. Last time, inhale, floating down. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, coming back up. And then coming into downward facing dog, let's stay this time. And let's walk it out. Press the heel to the floor, bend the opposite knee, breathing length into the legs. And also length into your spine. So still feel the hip bones reaching toward the sky behind. Now, what I'd like you to do here as we're walking the dog out is to stay on one side for a little bit so go ahead and extend one heel to the floor, bend the opposite knee, and let's stay and breathe for two or three rounds of breath. One more breath on this side. 
And then gently switch to the other side, extending the heel to the floor, bending the opposite knee. Two to three, deep breath. All right, straightening both legs. Inhale, float down onto hands and knees. And then bend your elbows in towards your waist and release the chest down to the floor and release the hips back. Good. Having your hands underneath your shoulders, elbows bent. With your next inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the head, chest, and your legs coming into the locust pose. Exhale, release down and turn your head to a side. Let's do that again. Inhale, come up, head, chest, and legs. Exhale, releasing down, turn the head to the opposite side. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, release. Twice more. Good, coming up this time, inhale. And exhale, release on down. Take an adjusting breath. All right. Now, staying on your abdomen, go ahead and come up onto your elbows. So the elbows are just a little bit forward of your shoulders, okay? Now, pressing the forearms into the floor, lift the chest away from the floor a little bit more and look forward. You should feel some elongation and in and around your navel. Breathe, shoulders cutting down the back. And while we're here, what I would love for us to do is to get some length in the front of our thighs as well, because that also gets quite tight and makes it for a while. So go ahead and cross your right arm in front of you so you can stay as lifted as you can with the upper body. And then bend the left knee and reach back as best you can and grab the base of the toes. Okay? Best you can. Now, when you make that connection, this left hip bone pops up off the floor. So what you have to do is with an exhale, roll it back down and then draw the heel in towards your seat as best you can. Now try to stay lifted in the chest as much as you can as well here. Now, as you hold this posture, notice what comes up emotionally or psychologically, I should say. Could be both, honestly. But what I notice sometimes is when I stretch my quads, the tops of my thighs like this, that I get agitated. <laughs> There's some irritation in the front of my thighs sometimes. So notice that, give it some breath. Know that it's just discomfort, nothing to invest in emotionally. At least not right now. <laughs> now, without slingshotting it, carefully release the leg down, bring your arms in front, and then release the chest for a moment so you can let your back relax. Ooh. Okay. Now, there is another side to do, and it is important that we do the other side. So coming back up onto your elbows, the chest is lifting as much as you can. Cross the left arm in front of you this time. Bend your right knee. And doing your best to reach back and grab the base of the toes. Now as you do this, this right hip joint pops up off the floor. And so you have to roll the hip back down. Then guide the heel and toward your seat. Right. Try to keep the chest lifting as much as you can. Breathe. And when I say chest lifting, just as lifting it away from the floor, the head lifting as well. Sometimes when we get start to get into our emotions with this posture, like that irritation, that agitation, and we drop the head down like this, it actually just makes it that much harder <laughs> to go through psychologically. So keeping the heart lifting, keeping the head lifting, continuing to guide the heel in toward the seat. Grounding that right hip joint. We'll stay for just a couple more breaths. Good. 
Good. Now, without slingshotting it, again, carefully release that leg down. You can cross your arms in front of you. And let's just feel sensation here for a moment. Good. All right. So go ahead and move your hands back underneath your shoulders, elbows bending. Curl the toes under and push up to hands and knees. And let's come back into downward facing dog, lifting the hips. Feeling a length in the spine here. Hip bones are reaching toward the sky behind you. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right. Now from this forward fold, look at the space between your thumbs and carefully walk your feet forward between your hands. Coming into standing forward fold. And we're gonna stay here for a breath or three. Soften your knees, allow them, allow them to be slightly bent. Relax your shoulders and neck. And breathe. Nice grounding forward fold. Good. With your next inhale, press your palms to your shin. Straighten the arms. Bring the chest halfway up or parallel to the floor. With your exhale, bend the elbows and fold forward again. We'll do that two more times. Palms to shin. Straighten the arms. Chest parallel to the ground. And exhale, fold down. One more time, and we're going to hold that halfway up pose. So straighten the arms. Take the shoulders down the back. We'll breathe here. Chest parallel to the floor. It's good to note here that the chin is tucking down slightly. The back of the neck is flat with the spine. Sometimes people like to jut the chin forward like there's something going on in front of them and there's not. Just drop the chin, looking down at the ground. Now keep the back exactly where it's at. Chest parallel to the ground. And just take the hands onto your hips. So we're just floating here a little bit. Strengthening the lower back. Keep the knees a little bit soft, never locked. And then with your next inhalation, inhale, go ahead and lift the upper body, coming up to standing. And exhale, feel. All right, good job. So let's do some arm swings next. We'll have to get the, the shoulder girdle nice and warmed up. Many of you know this one, I'll walk you through it still. So this is for the breath itself, it's a three part inhale through the nose with one powerful exhale out of your mouth with the movement. For your stance, you'll keep the feet about shoulder distance apart, a nice stable, steady standing posture. And then the three part inhale, it'll be inhale arms up, inhale arms back, inhale arms up. And then with your powerful exhale of the mouth, you'll jab the elbows back, exhaling out of the mouth. It'll be inhale, 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 exhale. Join me. Inhale, 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 exhale. Good. Inhale, 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 exhale. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of your mouth, and go at your own pace here. For some of us who have been doing this for a while, this might be quicker. For others, it might be slower, and that's completely fine. The idea is you want to make sure that the movement is sustainable for two minutes, because that's how long we're doing it. Inhale up, inhale back, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, 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 exhale. <laughs> Try to feel the full rotation of your shoulder joints, up, back, up, and jab. <laughs> 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 
inhaling through the nose. And with that powerful exhale out of your mouth, feel the navel pull into your body and up, helping to clear your respiratory system, getting rid of some of that stale, stagnant, toxic air out of the base portion of the lungs, making this more of a cleansing process. You're a little more than halfway done, about 45 more seconds or so. Just try to find what feels sustainable for you. If you need to slow the movement down, go ahead and do so. But once we make it past that minute and a half mark, that 90 second mark, we start to shift your nervous system. We start to pull you out of that sympathetic fight or flight state and ground you into your parasympathetic response. So you just have to keep moving if you can. Inhale, 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 exhale. Notice when you start to feel fatigued, again, it's okay to slow down, but do try to keep moving if you can. Three, two, and one. Relax the arms. Go inward, feel sensation, your breath rate, your heart rate. Maybe there's some tingling in the arms and the hands. Maybe a cooling in the nostrils, spaciousness in the chest. Maybe there's some energy at the abdomen, some sensation at the abdomen. That breathing rhythm, the three-part inhale through the nose, powerful exhale of the mouth called um, the joyful breath, the breath of joy. So you might feel lighter emotionally, maybe. Good. Taking a deeper breath, bringing your awareness back. Go ahead and widen your feet just a little bit further, maybe as wide apart as your yoga mat. And then go ahead and lift your left arm into the air. Reach up and grab the wrist, traction the arm toward the ceiling so you're feeling nice, long legs <laughs> along the left side. Reaching. And then after a breath or two of establishing that length, go ahead and tilt to the right. Now, a couple of uh, alignment cues here. If you notice your top shoulder rounding forward, roll it back as if you're trying to open your chest toward the ceiling. Second, if you're crunching a lot on your right side, lengthen back up a little bit more. The idea here is to feel length on both sides of the body. Of course, we're feeling it mostly on the left, but there's still some length happening on the right side. Breathe. Then inhale, come back up. Release the arms down. Notice the sensation on your left side. Notice the sensation on your right side. Balancing that out, right arm up. Go ahead and grab the wrist. Traction toward the ceiling. And again, spend a couple of breaths, really establish. Good. And then after those couple of breaths, you can tilt to the left, roll the top shoulder back, and keep extending out of the hips so you still feel some, a little bit of length on the left side of the body. We're not just collapsing there. Breathe. Good, with your next inhale, come back up, release the arms down, feel sensation on the right side of your body. Feel sensation on the left side again. And then keeping your feet mat width apart, just like you have them now, go ahead and interlace your fingers behind your back. 
squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the arms off the back, and then bend your knees just slightly. Let them be flexed just a little bit. Take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, take the arms overhead off the back as much as you can. It's okay if they don't go too far. And let's just breathe. Helping to create some length in your lower back, length in the legs. Good. Carefully release the hands toward the floor. Even with the legs wide, press palms to shins, come halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Then sweep the arms out to the side with the flat back. Bring yourself all the way up to standing, reaching the arms overhead and palms back down to your heart. So let's move through a sun salutation. Go ahead and step to the top of your mat if you're not there already. And bring your feet about hip distance, or yeah, hip distance apart, so stacking underneath the hips. Bring your palms to your heart. Feel the shoulders relax down your back. And take a moment just to reestablish your awareness of your breath. Feeling the inhale, feeling the exhale. And then tonight we'll move through a lunge series for our sun salutation. With your next inhale, please sweep your arms down, back, and up. With your exhale, bend both knees. Keep your arms behind you. Keep the knees bent as you lift the arms forward and up, coming into chair pose. We're going to stay for the exhale. Then inhale, straighten the knees, lifting up. And then exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Press palms to shins, come halfway up, heart parallels to the floor. Exhale, release, and step the right foot way back. Take the back knee to the floor. With your inhale, sweep the arms up and back, crescent lunge. And then exhale, bring the hands down to the floor. And we're going to add a hamstring stretch here. So straighten the left leg, pull the toes toward you, and draw the left hip back. Good. We'll stay for a breath or two this round. The next one will move a little bit quicker. Good, and then inhale, rock forward, curl the back toes under, and do your best to step back to downward facing dog. Good, now two options here. You can come to plank pose, or you can come to plank pose with knees down, picking your practice. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, bring yourself all the way down to the floor, hands underneath your shoulders, release the feet. Then the pelvis ground, lift the head, chest, and legs, locust pose. And then exhale, float down, curl the toes under, push up to hands and knees, and back to downward facing dog. All right. Inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Set the right foot between your hands. Right foot forward. And then sweep the arms forward and up for the crescent lunge. And then exhale, bring the hands down. Again, straighten the front leg, pull the toes back, and feel the right hip draw backwards. All right. Staying for a breath or two on this first round. And then with your next inhale, rock forward. Curl the back toes under to help you step forward. Standing forward fold. Palms to shins, straighten the arms. Chest parallels to the floor. Inhale, exhale, float down. Inhale, shift the arms up to the side of the flat back. Come all the way up to standing. And palms to the heart. Good, let's do that again. Inhale, sweep the arms down, back, and up. Exhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms behind you, chair press. Inhale into chair pose. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the legs, reaching up. And then exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Palms to shins, halfway up. And then exhale, release. This time, step your left foot way back. Take the back knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, up and back. And exhale, hands to the ground. Straighten the right leg, pull the toes towards you. Hamstring stretch. And then inhale, rock forward. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. 
Inhale, either to plank pose or plank pose with knees down. And then go ahead and drop the chest toward the floor gently. Pelvis grounds with the head, chest, and legs locus up. Exhale, float down. Curl the toes under, push up the hands and knees, and back to downward facing dog again. Good. Inhale, float back down onto hands and knees and slip your left foot between them, between your hands, that is. <laughs> With your inhale, lift the arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor, straighten the front leg, pull the toes toward you. Then inhale, rock forward, step forward, standing forward fold, palms to shin, straighten the arms, straighten the spine. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side with a flat back rise all the way up. And then exhale, palms to the heart. Keeping this energy moving, inhale, sweep the arms down, back up. Exhale, bend the knees, sweep your arms behind you, chair prep. Inhale into chair pose. Stay for the exhale. Lift on inhale. And exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Palms to shins. Halfway up, exhale, release, step the right foot way back, knee to the ground, crescent lunge again, inhale, lift. Exhale, palms to the floor, straighten the front leg, pull the toes toward you, hamstring stretch. And then inhale, rock forward, curl the back toes under and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale to plank pose or plank pose with knees down. Exhale, chest press, coming on down to your belly. Pelvis grounds, head, chest, and legs lift, inhale. Then exhale, release, curl the toes under, push up, and back to downward facing dog. Lengthen the spine. Good. Floating down onto hands and knees, bring the right foot between your hands. Good. Lunging, arms up and back. Exhale, hands to the floor and straighten the front leg. Pull the toes towards you, hamstring stretch. Good, then rock forward, step forward. Palms to shins, lengthen the spine. Exhale, release down. Sweep the arms out to the side with the flat back. Inhale, come all the way up. And palms to the heart. Again, inhale, sweep the arms down, back and up. Exhale, bend the knees, chair prep. Chair pose. Stay for the exhale. Lift on inhale. And fold forward exhale. Palms to shin. And release. Step your left foot back this time. Knee to the ground. Crescent lunge. Exhale, palms to the floor. Straighten the front knee. Pull the toes toward you. Good. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale to plank or knees down. Exhale to the floor. Locust pose, head, chest, and legs. Inhale. And exhale, release. Curl the toes under, push up, and back to downward facing dog. Staying for breath. Inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Step the left foot forward. Sink into the front knee. Inhale, come up for your lunge. Exhale, hamstring stretch. Pull the toes back. Rock forward, step forward. Palms to shins. Exhale, release. Sweep the arms out to the side, coming all the way up. And palms to the heart. Let's take an adjusting breath before we go into our final round. So reconnecting to that inhale, reconnecting to that exhale. Good. Now it's from this more grounded place, we'll finish this off. And with our last round, there'll be some holds and some variations. So expect that as we go along. With your next inhalation, go ahead and sweep the arms down, back and up. Exhale, bend the knees, chair prep. Inhale into chair pose. And you guessed it, we're gonna hold here. We're gonna breathe here. Soften your jaw here. Then 
there's what comes up here. <laughs> aware of the inhale, aware of the exhale. Then inhale straight in the legs, reaching up and back. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Palms to shins, halfway up, straighten the arms, straighten the spine. Exhale, fold down and set the right foot way back, knee to the ground, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor and straighten the front leg, pull the toes back and we're gonna hold this hamstring stretch. The left toes are pulling back, the leg is as straight as you can make it. Draw the left hip back as well. Continue to give you more length here. The heart itself is kind of bowing toward the knee. Or shin. It's a more of a directional movement. You didn't have to make a connection there. <laughs> and if you'd like to make this more fun, you can try bringing one or both hands onto the front foot. Makes it a balancing posture. It's a little more difficult, but might add some levity to <laughs> the situation. Good, with your next inhale, carefully rock forward. And let's go back to downward facing dog. Curl the back toes under, stepping back. Inhale into plank pose. Exhale down to the ground. Locust rise, head, chest, legs lift. Exhale, float down. Curl the toes under, push up to hands and knees, and back to downward facing dog. Staying for a breath or two here. Again, feeling the length in the spine. Hip bones are reaching toward the sky. And then float down onto hands and knees and step your right foot between your hands. Last lunge. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, palms to the floor. Straighten the front leg. Pull the toes back toward you. And we'll hold here for a couple of breaths. Well, more than a couple, probably like five. <laughs> Good. Toes pulling toward you. Right hip is drawing back to get a little bit more length in that leg. Come down if you want to play around with this one. You can try bringing one or both hands onto the front foot. You do not have to, though. <laughs> you can just hang out here. The heart kind of leaning toward the knee. One more breath. And with your next inhalation, go ahead and rock forward. Go ahead and step forward. Palms to shins, lengthen the spine here, halfway up. Exhale, release down. Now in this forward fold, interlace your fingers at your lower back again. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the arms off the back and overhead. Make sure your knees are not locked. Just a little bit of bend to them. You feel your shoulder blades kind of move toward one another and slip up toward your neck. Breathe. And then release your hands to the floor. Press palms to shins, come halfway up again. Exhale, release. And step back to downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale, float gently down onto hands and knees, taking the knees a little bit wider this time. And then exhale, child's pose, allowing your belly and heart to sink between the knees. Forehead to the ground if you can. And let's just breathe with child's pose.
taking a deeper, fuller breath. Go ahead and bring yourself back up. And we have just a couple more postures to do. So let's come on to our backs for them. So rolling over. And we'll revisit that twist we did at the beginning of class. So go ahead and bring your knees into your chest when you get to the ground. And take your arms out to the side, making a T-shape with the body. Or again, you can do goalpost arms. Go ahead, take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, allow your knees to fall towards your right side and relax them there. The right hand can rest on top of the thigh. And then feel your left shoulder anchor back behind you, maybe even turning your chin to the left. Let's we'll stay here for just several breaths. Taking a deeper, fuller breath. With your inhale, bring the knees back to center. And take your time, but when you're ready, allow the knees to fall towards your left side. The left hand can rest on top of the thigh. Feel your right shoulder anchoring behind you. And if it's comfortable on your neck, your chin can turn to the right as well. Let's breathe. So with your next inhalation, go ahead and unwind and hug your knees. And it might feel good to rock gently on the spine from side to side here. It might feel good to hold the knees still, but take the next few breaths into this posture. So as you feel complete here, go ahead and extend your legs down to the floor and make any final adjustments you need to in your body or in your space so that you can rest comfortably here for a few minutes. As you come to rest, allow your body to uncross. The toes falling away from one another so the hips can relax. Your arms resting to your side, palms face up so your shoulders can relax. Feel some gentle space between the rows of teeth. And some softness behind your eyes. And allow your awareness to drift back to your breath. What's the breath doing right now? 
Where do you sense the movement in your body? Is it in the belly, in the chest? Is that a big or a small movement? Does it feel smooth and continuous or does it feel more jagged? Careful not to judge that experience. We're just aware of it. Now it's likely that by being aware of your breath that you've naturally started to effort and breathing, even slightly. And I'm wondering if you can soften some of that efforting around the breath a little bit more. To be aware of the breath, but not having to be in control of it. Trusting in that autonomic response. The breath will continue, even if you don't make it. Just keep relaxing, especially if you're not sure how to stop efforting around the, the breath. Truly, there's nothing to do. You just have to keep letting go. Effort even less. Peace. 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 Please begin to take a deeper, fuller breath. Begin to make some gentle movements in your hands and feet, your arms and legs. Bringing your body and awareness back to the space around you. Take your time as you roll to your right side. and bringing yourself up to a comfortable seat. Bring your palms to your heart, lower the chin. Taking a breath and just honor yourself. Feel some gratitude for the work you've done here tonight. All the effort, all the willpower steadfastness. And may all of that and this practice continue to serve you. So until we meet again, namaste.